Hey everyone, this is Donald the Repentless with another Repentless News Brief. I'm looking at a story from EastIdahoNews.com about a couple of tourists who decided to, to put a bison calf in their car. Now, there's a regulation in Yellowstone that you're not supposed to get within 25 feet of the wildlife. And, you know, as good-hearted as those people may have been, may have meant to be, you know, bisons have been living in Yellowstone. Bison calves have been living in this Yellowstone since long before people like us were going wandering around there. To think that a bison that is specifically evolved to live in the climate of Yellowstone, which I've been there in like the later part of the year, like August, August, October, September, somewhere in there. And it's usually a lot colder than it is like in Pocatello or other areas because of the higher elevation that most of Yellowstone is at. The regulation about getting close to wildlife is there for a reason. Even if you didn't, even if these people didn't see the mother of the calf around, make no mistake, that mother is there somewhere, even if you didn't see her. And, well, just to give you an example, I was in Yellowstone, oh, about three or four years ago. And we were going along, you see, it was near Lake Yellowstone. And we were, we were on this, the pedestrian path around the area. And, you know, we noticed there's some elk going through, through there. And this um, Asian guy, I don't know if he was Japanese or where he was from exactly, but he was sitting there taking pictures and he hadn't noticed that he got between an elk and her and her um, foal, or whatever the proper terminology is. And the rest of us are slowly backing away from all this. And he's sitting there trying to intimidate this, this elk mother by doing, you know, some various poses, judo stuff, you know. Um, but like I said, these regulations are put in there for a reason. Um, a bison cub, bison calf may look cute and adorable. But the mother buffalo, if you're too, she gets too far away from her, is going to be a very dangerous animal. Um, my mom tells me one story somewhere else. I don't know where she was, but some idiot took their Volkswagen and was putting it between the mother and her calf and very nearly <laughs> got wrecked by this mother mother bison and that's the danger and stuff like that you may think you're doing something good for the cat but you're not um, it's best not to interfere with nature in this particular case a bison calf separating her from her mother or his or her mother it's a very dangerous situation a bison will not care one iota I mean what's the old saying you know, you mess with the bull, you get the horns, and bisons have horns. And they won't have any problem with running you through with them. Um, <laughs> like I said, it's just a ridiculous story. And I'm going to post a link to the article that I saw, um, re I read in the links below. But you have to be pretty dumb to think that you're doing the right thing by nature by taking this calf and putting it in your vehicle. You're not doing the calf any good. The calf is perfectly fine in the cold weather. It, you know, it's, I don't know how old the calf was. I, I don't remember when, to what time of year that um, buffalo tend to um, give birth, but it's generally around this time of year. And if you think that the calf isn't um, conditioned to survive in the climate it's in, you're wrong. I mean, Buffalo's been doing it for, for generations and generations and generations. They kind of have an idea what they're doing. You don't. So, whenever you go to someplace like, 
Yellowstone or any other, you know, natural, any national park or anything like that. The best rule of thumb is don't mess with the wildlife if you don't want to get hurt. It's simple. It's straightforward. Just don't do it. I don't care how cold you think the animal is. It's fine. It's you who are in the wrong if you think that you can interfere with nature. But anyways, if you like this video, give it a like, share it on social media, subscribe for more Repentless News Briefs. This is Don Repentless signing off. Be awesome, everyone.